Go ahead and open up lasso.ai. We're going to be doing some lassoing out here, pilgrims. Draw the wagons up into a circle. That's my John Wayne impression. He's probably rolling over in his grave. We're going to talk about the lasso tool. So that's why I'm using this really kind of interesting analogy. I've got some kangaroos and bunnies. So where are we? We're in Australia. Okay, this is an Australian cowboy. Actually, the first cowboys in the United States did come from Florida. They didn't come from, like, Texas. And now you know the rest of the story. Let's get going. The lasso tool is up here. Now, there's not much that this tool does in terms of selection. It's just basically a drawing tool. But before we get to it, tell you what. Pick up your regular selection tool. Let's say we want to pick up this star and this star. So we try the marquee thing, but we wind up getting this one too because a rectangle is going to grab that one down here. So we can't really do it easily that way. The easiest thing to do is click on this one and hold the shift key down. I mean, please. That's a very easy way to do it. If we decided to use the lasso tool, we could pick it up and we could come over here and thread our way through the passage here. And like I said, this would be a very difficult thing to do. But I guess in the end, we do have it selected. I mean, we could do the same thing down here. We want that kangaroo and that little tiny bunny right there. So we'd come around and do something like this. In most cases, it's probably easier to make selections using things like our selection tool, maybe the magic wand, selecting by attributes. This one is kind of tedious, but it does have one feature that I really do like. For example, if I come back to this star right here, and I draw a little circle just, see, I know there's a point there right around that end of that star. It literally only selects that one point. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself here in working this way because we're going to talk about anchor points and stuff like that later. But I could then just move that one single point. Or if I maybe grab a couple of them, I could you know, move them both, make some kind of really weird-looking shooting star. So the lasso tool to me does, well, it's got a purpose. The biggest thing I use it for, or the most often I use it, is when I'm selecting and working with individual anchor points, and I need to select, say, one or two at a time. And for me, I find it valuable there. Other than that, well, it, there are circumstances where it would work, but in most cases, you're probably going to be better off using other selection tools to get entire objects.